Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls what your power. It's what you believe. Love it. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 233, NASDAQ up 20, S&P's off 13 and a half gold. Gold contract down $27.70, 1994 an ounce. You get silver down 33 cents, trading at 23.96. Light sweet crudes off 42 cents, $70.69 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note, down nine ticks, trading 114.30. The 30 year up 20 at 129.05 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 114 ticks, 102.548. The euro is at 108. The yen is out here at 136. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, if I bring the future up, I mean, the, uh, yeah, the active future contract first. Intraday, what you're going to see out here is that we've been oscillating all day long. But that being said, we had a high volume low that I suspect we're going to go into. And that's 4127. That's uh, nine points lower than we are right now. It's been messing around all day long. You can see when we went up, we got up higher. But bottom line. Just didn't have the juice in it. That was going as that 27,000 contracts was going into 45. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. My take is that we're going to be down at these uh, lower levels. We go into the uh, ND. Let's look at the NDX because the NDX, a uh, different animal here, man. Well, actually, let's go inside the NDX first and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So the strength, AMD's on, up 4.9 percent. Google's up three and a half percent. Amazon's up, up, Amazon's up two and a half. Taken away from it. C Gen's down five. You get Walgreen Boots off five. Moderna's off four. eBay's off three. Now let's go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs out here. So look at that difference, man. There's, there's, you just don't have the differences pretty dramatic. Now we came down with volume, but see you going up with higher volume. Look, at this is just two different shots, man, period. You know, we'll see whether it wants to try to get to the highs of that, but you can see the difference. The difference is pretty dramatic in those shots in a, in a huge way, as is if I go into the queues, watch this intraday, we take a look at the queues, and you can see this is the queues into intraday. That has volume there. So in the morning, it was 1.1 million. But guess what? You were going against 1.5. Whereas we go to the SPY, and what you're going to see, look at that difference. The difference is pretty dramatic. That low has uh, 2.3 million. Last time we just came down, we just came down with 800,000. So that's not enough, but it doesn't have any juice on the way up either. Gold. We're going to take a look at the gold contract out here. The active contract right now, we're trading down 216,000. Uh, contracts. I suspect we're going to break this consolidation, folks. That's the way this is looking right now. So if we take a look at this, and this is what gold loves to do, man. You can see there's an expansion of volume coming up as we go into the, the bottom of this consolidation is 1980. We're at 1994. And then if we get over to the GDX probably has the two. Let me go look at the GDX here for a second. So, yeah, it does. See the GDX? We're going down. GDX wants to get down to this 31 area. You had 33 right now. That's the last time we had volume on the way up. That's how this works. Once you break it, in fact, you're breaking. One second. Yeah, you get up, you're breaking the swing today with volume. So, there's another way you can do this, too. Watch this. This gets interesting. You can take, you broke the consolidation, take the bottom of the consolidation, which is the 31. Is that 3108? Take the top. This is 36. That's five bucks. That gets you down to uh, what did I say 31. It gets you down to 26. And what's that right there? That's a lot lower than that. Hold. Make sure I'm doing that right. Oh no, it's 30. 
Oh, the bottom of it's no. The bottom is 33. Top of it's, no, is that right? Yeah, 33. Yeah, it's only three points. Okay. So back down to 30. And the top of that, there you go. And the top of that is 30, 31. So it's three points. That's when you get the break, and you get the break with volume. And it's going to be all about the good old dollar. So that's saying that the dollar wants to run to this 106 at least. Now that's going to continue to keep pressure. Also, the last swing high up here was 105, 580. Now we're always getting the 106. The 106, I believe, let me just pull this, is a 0.382 retracement of the way down. That's all, and that's a dead cat bounce. So I'm not looking for the dollar to go to heaven. Yeah, there it is. 10. What is this? Actually, from the top is 102. Oh, it's the 50. No, it's actually it's the six. See, that's a 618. 10, 106 to 107 is a 618. So that would be a that would be a big bounce. But the way this is set up, you're at the 0 0.382 of the whole move down. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness out here, point wise. We have Microsoft putting 24 positive points, uh, Salesforce 13, taken away from it. Amgen, minus 36. United Health, minus 32. Home Depot, uh, minus 24. Uh, bottom line is that's going to get, uh, well, what's going to be really interesting coming into the close, folks, is that is the meeting at the White House going to get out, get out before 4 p.m.? Because... It's going on right now. Now, the last meeting that they had started at 4 p.m., they were smart enough to make sure it started after the market, you know, closes. In this particular point, we'll see if they ever, if they ever get out before it. And it's just, listen, the, if you go back to 2011, that's where I think this is going to go. This is going to go right down to the last days. That, that's how my, my take on this. And... Yeah, and they're, they're, but that's what it looks like to me. Because because this has been going on since January, you know. Right? It, it's May. January, February, March, April. It's been going on five months, man. You know. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials are down 242. NASDAQ is up 13, 24. S&P is down 13. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.